Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, International Master Spinning Chain, and we'll be doing another five minute game. So, uh, recently, I've actually managed to get my uh, rating of Blitz to, to 3,000, actually. So, that was quite a milestone. It took me a long time. I didn't think I could do it, but uh, yeah, fine, fine, got it. And I'm playing against Krillin, Carlos de Moore. Okay, so he plays G3 line. Alright, so against G3 line, I think. Um, there's a certain way you have to go against this. Now, knight b3, knight e2, knight b3, and I think I have to go knight bd7. Mm, sorry, um, okay. So, how does this work exactly? So, g3, he's gonna go h3, g4, and uh, I'm not sure if I should play b5 here, or. Yes, okay. okay this is supposed to be a line that uh, you can play as block in this, which will give. More ideas and a four, huh? That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly what four does. But usually you don't want to play a four so early because, well, well, I guess this is why he did that four. He's gonna do this, this take take. Okay, so b four and it takes here. Okay, so um, I think we lose this pawn sometime in the future. Uh, he's probably gonna take this guy. And uh, okay, so bishop six, a five, five is interesting. Um, Okay, alright, sorry for my mumbling, it's just been a while since I cast my own game, and I'm uh, not exactly sure what to say this time. I think I'm going to be losing this a5 pawn sometime, maybe. This is going to be, okay, this is kind of sketchy, okay, so, a5. Alright, so this is like really, really sketchy for me, and, uh, because I'm takes, and that, I'm giving the d4 square. It's not too big a deal, I think, but uh, it does run to some problems. So after he gets his knight here, I believe I can try to uh, force something here. Can't play queen c5, but she e3, but she takes, and I have 5. So that's going to be kind of not so good. Hmm. Okay, so let's uh, let's play queen c4, b3, queen c3, here, and I'm just trying to find some tactics here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find some interesting tactics. This may be Try and see if it, this works. B3, Queen C3, Rook, rook B1, Bishop D8. Because I want to get this pawn somehow, and uh, I want to make this t hard for him to uh, get my B4 pawn. And uh, I'm not quite sure if this is theory, but uh, oh yeah, I've also been playing a lot of poker online recently on Poker Stars, and it's quite a rough uh, learning process. I've been uh, getting. There's been a lot of times where I've had great hands and. Uh, Nothing just happened. Like one time, I had a full house, and some guy had four of a kind. So that was that was kind of fun. Uh, needless to say, I lost all my money there, but I haven't really invested too much. I think like forty bucks or so, and I was able to get higher actually to around a bit higher. Uh, okay, okay. Um, bishop d8, which takes. Okay, so bishop d8. Okay, so yeah, I've um, managed to get it it's a bit higher from uh, four dollars to I think I think I, I had around like ten at one time and I got to fifty and then went all the way up to around uh, yeah fifty and then lost to forty and then I'm down to seventeen now so it's quite a rough process not the most easiest way to go about things oh okay so that's not cool that's not too good so here. Here, here, c3. Oh boy. Okay, so this is not not the best uh, position for me right now, and uh, there's some problems I think in my position, which uh, is kind of uh, not so good. So I think I may be losing this pawn in some case. Queen c5 here. Okay, so this is not good. So I think I just screwed up here, and uh, this is definitely not the best position to be in. And uh, yeah, it's not that great right now. I think I'm probably worse. Not sure how much worse, but I'm gonna be playing a bit faster now because I'm also low on time. The thing with uh, cast my own games is that sometimes I will miss certain moves because I'm not focused on the game. I'd rather focus on just trying to talk and make make small talk. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. And uh, yeah, sometimes I get really terrible positions like this. So this is not too good. Okay. Alright, so I think I made a few mistakes already. I should play a5 to stop uh, this uh, idea. And okay, rook a4. 
Alright, so I think I want to eliminate this knight, but how do I eliminate this knight? Um, let's try this. So right now he he can take this guy, but I think I'm going to take this guy and take on a5. So that will help me a bit. Not not too much, but it'll help me a bit. This now e5 pretty much controls almost everything. And uh, I do have some breathing room here, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe I have some breathing room. I'm not too sure. Um, my position still still sucks a lot. And uh, I'm hoping that he makes a few mistakes, because otherwise I don't think I'm going to get out of this uh, alive. It's not the best uh, position that I've had all day. Actually, it's the first game I've played, so I um, might be a bit rusty with 5 minutes. I haven't played it in a while. I did get my 5 marine over to 25-40, I think, and I dropped down a bit because I was focused on playing Blitz, trying to move fast, so I was making some mistakes. And strangely, strangely enough, when I play Blitz, there's a lot of times where my opponents are awful, but they're so fast, they just flag me. And that that's I, I find that really annoying. Okay, so he's gonna try to. Uh, okay, so I see, I see what he's trying to do here. He's gonna play here, and I want to get my. Get my queen here. Okay, so queen c3, which d4, queen c7. Um, okay, so this is not too good. Queen c7 takes. Um, so I might be losing a pawn here. Uh, I want to play queen b8. He takes. I'll take this guy. And. I do not believe. Queen c3 here. Okay, queen c3 here. Queen c7. Uh, take six. So you don't want to lose my knight like that. But I don't think I have, have much choice here. All right, so I'm gonna have to try this out. Queen c3, bishop d4, queen c7 back. I I really have no choice here, unfortunately. So this bishop's gonna be a monster very soon. And uh, if I don't do this, I think I'm gonna be just out of pawn with uh, very little compensation. So he's going to be taking this guy, of course, and I'll take, take back on f5, I think. He takes here, I will take on c2, or not. This looks very, very dangerous. Um, okay, so I think I, I think I can just take on c2 here. And queen g4, h5, so I think I should be okay here. Uh, there's some some really, like, really strange tactical uh, positions here. And you got to be really careful here, because I really think that my position is very close to losing. If uh, he had a computer on, or someone was helping him out with this game, with uh, computer assistance, I would be lost. But thankfully, that does not happen here, I, I hope. So I think he's just going to take an e5, because I don't see anything else he can do. I mean, he can choose to take on b4, I'm going to take on f5, I'm going to take on a5. So this will give me some more breathing room, and as long as his knight, I mean, he can get opposite bishops, c3. Um, like, I really have nothing to do here, I'm going to play c3 again. He's gonna take this guy, I'll take this guy, and a7 probably. I don't really, uh, not sure what else he can do at this moment. I mean, he has to go bishop d4, bishop takes e5, unless he's going for a draw here, which is kind of strange because his position is a lot better than mine. I don't know why he's doing this. I mean, if he does this again, I might just choose not to take it. I mean, I'm up. Okay, like, I'm not. Okay. Well, now he has no time, so I'm gonna just, like, use this against him. Who takes? Here. And I think that, uh, so he's going to do nice e6 here. So I want to capitalize on this by uh, playing, hmm. Okay, so I want to play queen 7 queen c5 here and here. Bishop d7 takes, which takes, okay, so here, bishop d7. So queen c7, um, it's pin, so this helps out a bit, queen c7. So he can't quite... Um, well, you can take take back b4. You can't quite take this way, because I'm going to be taking this, this, this. Okay, so I want to be taking this way actually. This way is, is good here. Take take this way. Rook c4, queen c7 check here. I'm going to take on a5, I think. Oh, so um, here and play rook b8 or rook fb8. Um, why can't you just take the pawn here? Actually, I'm just going to take a pawn here because. It looks kind of nice. It's a nice pawn to have. Let's see four here. Uh, Let be three. He's gonna be going here, and uh, I'm gonna be playing. Okay, so I'm gonna be playing really fast here, unfortunately. Uh, oh, okay, so I kind of just dropped that guy. Drop, drop, drop the ball on that. Here, um, this is gonna be a. I think I might, might win this game actually. Here, um, 
here. Check. Okay, so I'm just going to on time. 85 check. There we go. So, that was not a tough game that I was hoping to play, but uh, thankfully, the guy wasted so much time that eventually I had to decline the draw offer. Because, I mean, I'm not going to take a draw there. And I won, even though this was a shameless victory, because I think my position here is probably pretty much lost. But uh, I could play Rook G8 in more time. But uh, yeah, it was a fairly interesting game. So uh, I think I actually, oh, oh, I think yeah, he has mates. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Well, he has no time. It doesn't matter. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.